So this is uh, a little bit around texture. Texture, the other seasoning, like the other white meat, but not. So a lot of the time when um, professional chefs talk about seasoning, um, they're talking about salts and acids. So seasoning is like that little bit of extra oomph that you want to give a dish, um, either towards the finish or as you're tasting and you go through and you think, mm, I know there's more in it than what it's showing and you want it to show more of itself. Now, salt and acid, um, I get it, they're great, but the thing about masala is you really, um, it's really beneficial to start to understand texture, which is another seasoning agent. And what I mean by texture is almost like, for me, I guess in this regard, what I'm talking about is almost exclusively earth category spice, so the seeds, um, because, and I'm gonna show you how this works. Easier than showing and kind of standing here talking at you for, for too long. All right, so <clears throat> the spice I'm choosing is ginger powder just because, you know, why not? So, um, we're going to put a little bit of ghee, just a little bit, in a pan. And I have a habit of licking my fingers when I cook, because you know, I'm cooking for my family, so. Um, and then I look at myself when I'm editing the video and think, Serena, you should probably stop licking your fingers. Anyway, um, so, and ginger powder. Now when you taste ginger powder raw, it's really spicy and really earthy. And the ginger quality is like, it's like this very sort of bare, intense, heating ginger. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna heat this. So come on over, because I want you to have a look. Let's do it here on this little one. Um, so, you know, one of the really good ways to learn about something is, um, kind of as important and building blockish in terms of masala as texture, as a seasoning, is to do it away from like an actual dish because you just want to get the, the kind of, the most bare feeling for what it is. Um, it's really direct. So ghee in ginger powder. Now, if you've watched any of my videos, um, and I'm gonna put the link down the bottom if you haven't. You know that ghee is a fat that's very sweet, very round, very soft. And when spice plays through ghee, it actually plays itself as being a much more um, peaceful version of itself. So ginger loses like some of that kind of aggressive heat and dryness and becomes like a bit more, like it's a bit easier to handle, like the beauty is, is easier to handle. So, you ready? So I'm gonna taste this. Yeah, <clears throat> so it's a little bit caramelized, but um, what the ghee has done to the ginger powder is it's, um, is it's taken away uh, like the dust and what you get left with is like the sort of the contained, beautiful, um, you know, warmth and gingery heat of, of ginger itself, okay? Now, texture in this instance is gonna be come and seed. Okay. So I'm gonna put just putting that sort of teaspoon in so it's kind of weight for weight it's like almost the same maybe just a little bit more ginger powder than cumin seed but essentially and a teaspoon of ghee so we're dealing in kind of the same quantities and then try it it only needs like 30 seconds to temper And the cumin seed goes in there and because it's so wooded and it has this texture, it actually, it's like it puts on top of that layer of warmth and beauty of that ginger, it puts um, a dusty, jagged layer back on top again. So suddenly uh, we have a split in the two aromatic bodies of the ginger. So 
Texture in masala splits aromatic body. And because spice, every single spice has multiple facets, one of the ways to really revive a flat dish, not just to drive it with salt or to sort of like give it zing with acid, but is actually to split the aromatics um, with a spice like cumin seed or even like cumin powder, maybe fennel seed, and give it a, a, a like a, a more, I don't want to use the word textured again, so let me say, a shape with more sides. So suddenly instead of a flat dish, you've put some elevated structure in there. You've split your bodies of spice into different shapes and that gives the appearance of oomph and it gives the appearance of seasoning and what you've used in that regard is not salt and acid. In fact, the ability texture has to season a dish um, when it comes to masala is just is really something that only salt and acid can envy. They don't have that capacity. So it's a nice skill to get to know.